It was this same man who initiated the proposal that led to the lifting of the presidential term limits in 2005. The trouble that we are suffering now is the making of James Kakosa. When I started the third term, people thought that it was a joke, but you've seen people have been given it. Kabula MP and primary health care minister James Kakosa is back again with another proposal, this time to extend the presidential term from five years to seven and that of the House. I think a seven-term office is better. I'm proposing 2016. People to consider it seriously since Parliament is beginning in May. Kakoza's proposal means amending Article 77 Clause 3 of the Constitution in respect to members of Parliament and Article 105 Clause 1 of the Constitution, which limits a single president's term to five years. Kakoza says the five are not enough for the president to implement his manifesto as well as the members of parliament. You find that we started last year in May and the government MPs to be shown will be in May. A year will be wasted. Then it means even when we are starting this term in May, another year will be wasted. And he has some backing from lawmakers, although others are opposed to it. It would be a good idea to extend to seven years. I think it would be a good idea. I like it. It will give us enough for five years for work and then maybe two years spent for uh, electioneering and campaigns. The moment term limit is restored, I would personally support the increasing the term of every elected leader, maybe even to 10 years. Because there is no way after every five years, Uganda can go for elections at a cost of 3.1 trillion shillings. So just like it is happening in Rwanda and in other countries, I would support the idea of extending terms of every elected leader. When a new idea comes up, it goes for a subject for debate. My view is that uh, I think five years is a period long enough to evaluate performance of somebody. If you stay the seven years, Without being subjected to voting, you can relax. He is only running away from one simple issue, reinstating term limits. But those of us who are here in this parliament we will remain on record to say no to such a project. What's wrong with the five-year term of office? But the NRM party, having won a landslide and with an overwhelming majority in parliament, a change in the status quo would mean that the next presidential and parliamentary elections will take place well after 2016.